Hello people, this is Dr. Muskan this side and today I am going to discuss one very beautiful case. It is all about type 2 respiratory failure and obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. So, the patient also has AKI and more problems. I'll discuss you uh, further. So, let's you know, dive into the story of this patient. Here is 54 year old female who has came to ER with chief complaints of shortness of breath since 6 days, cough with sputum since 6 days and fever since 3 days. Going into very basics, what are the differentials of shortness of breath my dear friends? If I am thinking on the line of lung, I will think about pleural effusion, pneumothorax, tension pneumothorax, uh, your uh, pneumonia and from 3A I told you last time, aspiration anaphylaxis and asthma and one is COPD. If I am thinking about heart, what are the uh, differentials I will think? Why shortness of breath can occur? It can be FMT, I told you last time. Heart failure, MI and your cardiac tamponade. So next, uh, chief complaint is cuff with sputum. So what uh, are the types of sputum? Four types, serous, mucoid, purulent and rusty. If I am thinking about serous, what is the appearance of the serous mucus? Sputum, sorry. Uh, it is clear, watery, frothy and pink. And what are the diseases? What are the cause of the sputum? It can be acute pulmonary edema or alveolar cell cancer. If the type of sputum is mucoid, it will be clear, grey, white and viscid. And cause can be COPD and asthma. Uh, if the type of sputum is purulent, the appearance can be yellow or green. If it is yellow, it can be because of asthma, in which we will see the raised eosinophil count and acute bronchopulmonary infection. If it is in green color, we can see long standing infections such as pneumonia, bronchitis, cystic fibrosis, and lung abscess. If this type of sputum is rusty red, we can see, think about pneumococcal pneumonia. These all things we have to mug it up because if we know about these things, then only we will come to our one diagnosis out of all these things. So the uh, sputum color in my patient was white. That means the type is mucoid and the cause can be COPD and asthma, which I'm going to think right now. And I have ruled out uh, other diseases thinking about the sputum. And further, I will also check what all symptoms will correlate with this disease. <clears throat> So the next chief complaint was fever. So what are the differentials of the fever I have to think? If the uh, temperature is more than 38.3 degrees Celsius, then only we say it is fever. Now uh, fever uh, can be infectious or non-infectious. If the fever is infectious, I have to see, think about nosocomial pneumonia. I have to think about urosepsis, meningitis, surgical site infection, Clostridium difficult colitis, intra-abdominal sepsis and intra-pelvic sepsis. If it is non-infectious, I have to think about drug fever, DVT, pulmonary embolism, acute MI, atelectasis, dehydration, acute pancreatitis, acalculus cholecystitis and transfusion associated hepatitis. Okay, so uh, I have to also tell you about what are the differentials of cough. So how we see it, it is to acute, subacute, or chronic. If it is acute, it is less than three weeks. If it's subacute, it is three to eight weeks. If it is chronic, it is more than eight weeks. If it is acute, I have to think about differentials such as viral, UR, brachial, bacterial tracheobronchitis, pneumonia, COPD, CHF, pulmonary embolism, pneumothorax, uh, inhaled foreign body. Okay, if it is subacute, I have to think about post infectious cough and pertussis. If it is chronic, I have to think about upper airway cough syndrome, asthma, GRD, laryngeal, pharyngeal reflux, AC inhibitor, post infectious, COPD, bronchitis, ILD, that is interstitial lung disease, cancer, or tuberculosis. Okay, so right now I have just told you what all differentials should come in mind while thinking about the chief complaints of the patient. There were three chief complaints. One was shortness of breath, other was fever and third was cough with sputum. So I have told you differentials of cough also and I have told you differentials of sputum also. Okay, so on primary survey, ABCS was done, ABCS, airway, breathing, circulation and sensorium. Airway was patent, there was no signs of airway obstruction. So what are the signs of airway obstruction we have checked? Dysphagia, dysphagia dysphonia, strider, choking, dyspnea, patient is holding his neck and saying, ah, I'm not feeling like breathing. Hoarseness of voice, unable to swallow his own secretions, that means drooling. 
on breathing assessment respiratory rate was 20 per minute what is normal respiratory rate my dear friends it is 12 to 16 per minute that means there is tachypnea okay uh, spo2 was 60 percent on room air that means there was desaturation also present so on breathing assessment we what we see we see the signs of respiratory distress so what are the signs of respiratory distress there are 11 signs of respiratory distress which we see while checking the breathing assessment that is abnormal breathing slow or rapid breathing unusually deep or shallow breathing okay what is deep and shallow breathing if it is deep breathing with high respiratory rate, it is known as hyperapnea. If it is uh, shallow breathing with high respiratory rate, it is known as tachypnea. So this is the difference between two. Gasping for breath, wheezing or gurgling, that means high-pitched voices are coming. Skin is moist or cool, flushed, pale or bluish, dizzy, lightheaded, pain in chest, tingling sensations in hand, feet and lips, and patient feels shortness of breath. So these are the signs of respiratory distress. Now you should also know about differentials of tachypnea. I have told you in last while discussing my last case, so I am going to tell you again. Uh, if we think on pul uh, pulmonary differentials of tachypnea, it will be asthma, COPD, pneumonia, pneumothorax, pulmonary embolism, paradoxical vocal fold motion, and upper airway obstruction. Okay, upper airway. So what all things comprises your upper airway? external nose nasal cavity and pharynx and what comprises your lower airway pharynx larynx or bronchi and your lung okay so cardiac differentials of tachy apnea are congestive heart failure cardiac ischemia pericardial effusion or tamponade metabolic causes of your uh, tachypnea are you can think very easily there are 11 differentials if you will think two words one has acidosis and one is poisoning most of the differentials will get covered uh, acidosis may you will get lactic acidosis, metabolic acidosis, diabetic ketone acidosis and ketoacidosis. Poisoning may you will get carbon monoxide poisoning, salicylate poisoning and toxic ingestions or exposure. It will all cause tachypnea. Other causes, differentials for um, tachypnea, metabolic differentials that is your dehydration, alcohol, starvation, hypovolemic shock and severe kidney dysfunction. Nervous system dysfunction differentials are grand mal seizures, brainstem pathology like tumors and inflammation, and central neurogenic hyperventilation. Hematological differentials are anemia. Uh, endocrine differentials comprise of hyperthyroidism and few cytochroma. Other causes for um, tachypnea are your physiological response such as when you do exercise, temperature or fever, sepsis, and psychiatric response such as anxiety, fright, and pain. On circulation assessment, pulse rate is 82 per minute and blood pressure is 118 per se by 70 mmHg. Sensorium was alert E4, V5, M6. That means total is GCSS 15 by 15. Eyes opening spontaneously, verbal response is oriented and motor response is obeying command. Okay, now you can here also learn Glasgow Coma Scale. How to check sensorium. I have a very beautiful mnemonic to tell you. Eye opening response, you can remember ESPN that is uh, 4 means E eyes opening spontaneously, S means 2 sound that is 3, 2 is to um, pain P and 1 is not opening on pain. Verbal response you can uh, learn the mnemonic R country when 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So R, O, O means uh, your oriented, 4 uh, country, confused, 3 words, 2 in comprehensive sound I and 1 is no response that is N. <coughs> Motor response clear mnemonic can't win without fan. So six five four three two one. So can't live without fan. So C L W F A N. C say command obey. L say localize to pain. W say withdraws to pain. F say flexion that is decorticate. Uh, A say abnormal extension that is decelebrate. And N say no response. Okay. So H O P I. Patient was apparently asymptomatic one week back when she started experiencing uh, difficulty in breathing. Cough with scanty sputum which was white in color. It is associated with seasonal variation and dust allergy since 8 years in positive history of morbid obesity and snoring. Negative history of hemoptysis. Past history, she has history of hypertension since one year. She was on regular medications. There is positive history of type 2 diabetes mellitus since four months and she's not taking uh, medications. There is no history of TB and TB contact. There is history of thyroid since one year and she's on tablet thyronome 25 mcg. 
there is history of previous hospitalization which are multiple uh, in times uh, in three years there is positive history of bipap sport in present there is history of previous surgical intervention present so from pa uh, past history we have made the diagnosis of hypertension type diabetes mellitus and thyroid that is hypothyroidism personal history there is no addictions of smoking tobacco and alcohol that is present in this patient so i want to here tell you some peculiar features of osa that is obstructive sleep apnea which we only do in systemic examination uh, from head to toe okay so we have completed our journal uh, examination uh, sorry your the basic history now we will go to the journal examination i to toe Uh, brain says I am feeling confused. Head says there is headache means there is pain. Eye says I want to sleep in daytime. Throat says I am feeling dry. Mouth says I am snoring, snoring and snoring. BP says I am feeling high means hypertension. Heart rate shows I am feeling low. Stomach says GRD. Genitalia says low impotence and nocturia. <clears throat> so these are all peculiar features of obstructive sleep apnea, my dear friends. And practically, I have seen all these features in the patient. Investigation picture CBC shows anemia. KFT picture shows increase in urea, uric acid, creatinine, and chlorine. So we have checked that patient also has AKI. How we have checked that through KFT report and urine output. See if the urine output is less than point five mL per kg per hour, and creatinine level is also. Uh, 1.5 or 1.9 times the waistline it fall according to kdi or your classification it falls in aki so the body weight of my patient was 160 kg and i have multiplied it by 0.5 it comes out to be 80 ml per hour so the urine output which i have seen in the drug chart was less than 80 ml per hour that means patient has aki and creatinine level was also 2.6 mg per dl okay so if we will calculate the creatinine level uh, baseline how will calculate 1.5 jo hai okay <clears throat> baseline kitna hota creatinine 0.6 se 1.3 to 1.3 ko agar main multiply karungi 1.5 times se to kitna aayega 1.95 aur mere patient ka usse zyada hai that is 2.6 that means it falls in kdi jo classification uh, stage 1 Okay, now there was hypochloremia also to my patient. So what all thing I will, मतलब causes and symptoms of hypochloremia. Normal chlorine level is ninety five to one zero five mm uh, mg per dl. Okay, so if it is less than ninety five, we say it is hypochloremia. Okay, so the causes for hypochloremia are your GI abnormalities, ठीक है prolonged vomiting or NG suctioning. ओके सेकेंड कॉज इज योर डायट्री चेंजेस थर्ड कॉज इज योर रीनल एबनॉर्मैलिटीज थर्ड फोर्थ कॉज इज योर ए बी जी प्रॉब्लम ओके रेस्पिरेटरी एसिडोस एंड मेटाबॉलिक एसिडोस फोर्थ कॉज इज योर मेडिकेशन दैट इज पेशेंट इज ऑन डायरेटिक्स ऑडिकोस्टेरॉइड एंड बाय कार्बोनेट सिम्टम्स विच विल कम इन द पेशेंट ऑफ हाइपोक्लोरिमिया विल बी टेटनी लाइक सिम्टम्स एंड मसल वीकनेस डायाफोरिस बहुत सारा कुछ ना होगा यहाँ पे फीवर LFT picture shows hypoalbuminemia and decreased alkaline phosphatase level. ABG picture shows type 2 respiratory failure because pH was low, PaO2 was low, PaCO2 was high and bicarbonate was high. Influenza A, influenza B, H1N1, S3, N2, RSV all these test was non detected. Viruses were non detected. Uh, urine culture and sensitivity shows no growth but blood culture and sensitivity shows no growth. Peripheral blood smear shows normocytic normochromic anemia. HbA1c uh, level is 8.4 percent, which tells type 2 diabetes mellitus. Path had hormone was 47.8 picogram per ml, which is also normal. Albumin creatinine ratio was also normal, means micro albumin creatinine, and then we calculate micro albumin creatinine ratio. It was all normal. Troponin I plus was 0.02 nanogram per ml. That means there was no risk for cardiovascular disease. We can Uh, delete all the diagnoses which we have thought in the start about the cardiac problems of tachypnea also in shortness of breath also we have thought ana <clears throat> if you remember tft picture shows hypothyroidism because t3 was low uh, procalcitonin level was 0.12 nanogram per ml which was normal okay hcv hiv 12 hbsag was non reactive CT scan shows 
diffuse bilateral ground glass opacities in bilateral lung predominantly basal regions with interstitial thickening and mild bronchotectic changes and mild mediastinal lymphadenopathy so the differentials they have made for us is ILD and ISP pattern covid pneumonia and ARDS so what all management we have done and what we are thinking as differential or the probable diagnosis in our case we have been thinking shortness of breath with type 2 respiratory failure and chief complaints was also very uh, classical triad of COPD that is your cuff with sputum and shortness of breath Hana. with AKI and with obstructive sleep apnea okay so the management was given injection to ZAC which is antibiotic to treat bacterial infection uh, injection to ZAC has 4 gram of epicillin and 500 mg of tezobactam that means total of 4.5 gram it kills both gram positive and gram negative bacteria injection panto for GRD injection lasix for as diuretic injection as e uh, antibiotic only to treat bacterial infection injection insulin for treating type 2 diabetes mellization type 2 diabetes mellitus uh, nebulization with formonide was done because it is drug of choice for COPD in tablet theranom was given which is given as a treatment for hypothyroidism injection fragment was given which was blood thinner injection fragment is gel dependent <clears throat> Nebulization with Budicord was done to prevent the symptoms of asthma. Tablet Ostromavir is given to prevent the infection of H1N1 or influenza A. Injection Neurovoin is given which is to treat vitamin B deficiency. Injection Paropenum is given to treat bacterial infection. Injection Teclopalanin is given to treat gram-positive bacteria. Injection Dipotex is given uh, generally when bronchi are present in the patient. So that's all I have really learned a lot on this case. I have learned about uh, differentials basically about uh, sputum, fever ke differentials, cough ke differentials, hai na? respiratory distress ke kya signs hote uh, I revised differentials of tachypnea in this case, class coma scale, peculiar features of OSA, how to see is there AKI or not and all the calculation part, hana? hyperchloremia, hypochloremia, what are the symptoms and what are the causes of it and different drugs and its uses. So there was a lot to learn on this case. I was feeling very happy after studying this case. I hope after listening to the history of this patient from me, uh, you have been benefited. And thank you for watching this video. Dr. Muskan Bansalville, sign off now.